guys, welcome back to my channel. So the day is finally here where I have my new Erin Condren life planner and here it is. I got the blue box. These post-its are just covering up um, my address. Um, so I've heard that the box color denotes what planner you got, but I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know when my other planner comes and see if it's in a different colored box. So, um, but it is here and I am going to show you guys Hi. what's inside. And then I'm also going to, as I'm showing you, I'm going to kind of give you my, um, opinion of it, I guess. And I will also be bringing in the old Erin Condren um, planner and show you guys kind of the comparison between the two as well. This is the 2015 to 2016 life planner. You can order it in either a 12 month or an 18 month um, version. So the 12 month is actually going to be January 2016 to December 2016. And then the 18 month is going to be July 2015 all the way to December 2016. So you have two options of how you want to order it. The 18 month is $5 more um, if you order that. This year you have a choice between a vertical or a horizontal layout. The layout that I'm going to show you today is the horizontal layout. I also did order the vertical layout but I'm still waiting for that to come. Uh, so keep that in mind that the two layouts are a little bit different. The color schemes are a little bit different. When I get the other planner I'm going to do um, a video showing you the vertical planner and then I'm going to do another video that compares the two so you can see them side by side the color differences uh, the font differences etc so you'll be, really be able to get kind of a look at which one you like the best if you guys are purchasing an Erin Condren for the first time make sure you use the link in the um, description box below it's the first link right there that will give you a coupon for ten dollars off your first purchase so when you go and sign up you enter your email and then uh, within like 10 minutes or so you should get an email that gives you a coupon code for ten dollars off which is pretty awesome because it helps pay for shipping so um, stay tuned if you want to see how this horizontal layout looks in the new Erin Condren planner okay guys so this is the box with the elusive horizontal Erin Condren life planner inside and I am so excited let's open up the box and inside, the first thing that we see is a sticker, which you usually get um, stickers and such with your purchases. And then there's also this postcard. Oopsie doodle. That's pretty cute too. And of course, it's your um, order receipt or whatever you want to call this. And then everything that you buy from Erin Condren is wrapped in tissue paper. So when you open it up, it also comes with bubble wrap. Now with this order, I did not buy any accessories. I only got the planner with this order. The first order that I made, I got um, a bunch of accessories with it. So when that comes, I'll show you guys that. And then there she is, my friends. Okay, so this is what it looks like now that we've got it out of the box. Um, I got the bloom where you are planted cover and I just put where there are flowers there are butterflies now full disclosure here this planner only cost me ten dollars and ninety five cents plus shipping um, I went on the Erin Condren website first thing on launch day and I ordered my vertical planner I ordered a ready to ship and I also ordered some accessories to go with it then I got a message that said um, there were a couple planners that were ringing up for $10.95. So I thought, you know, she was having a sale, trying to get rid of some of the old um, planners that they had lying around or covers or something like that. So of course I jumped on it. I went on the website and sure enough, there were two planners that were listed for $10.95. So I purchased um, just this one and there was two cover options that were listed for $10.95 um, and I got this one so then we found out that it was a glitch in the pricing so I do feel a little bit bad about that um, but you know I purchased it at the price that was listed so you, you can't really beat that you know um, so anyways we're gonna jump right in with the planner the first thing that I want to show you is the um, coil now this coil is a lot bigger than the old coil and I'm going to bring in my old Erin Condren just so I can show you guys how much bigger it is. Can you see that? That coil is way, way bigger than the other Erin Condren and the only thing 
that I don't like is how much of this coil is sticking out right here. On the old Erin Condren, oops, there's a tiny, tiny bit right there. But on the new one, there's like this whole piece sticking out right here on both ends. So that's, that's kind of not so great. But anyway, so it comes with a new ruler. This is the Party Pops ruler. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's got the Party Pops design on it. Don't forget to take your clear um, wrapping off this, and then your, your ruler will be nice and clear, and you'll be able to use it a lot better. So that comes with that. Now, let's see here. My cover looks good, except for there is a big scratch right here. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Right. Can you hear that? There's a scratch from here to here. So that's a bummer, but like I said, I paid $10.95, so we're not going to complain about that. Plus, your cover gets scratched up and stuff when you're um, using it anyway. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what happens. Okay, so here's another thing. It won't go down all the way. Um, and you guys can't really see that from the angle that you're at. Um, but I have to see if I push it down, it becomes undone at this last little bit right here, which I don't know. Let me see if I can zoom you guys in. So, you see how when it's closed, that part is there. And then when I open it, do you see all this space right here? It does not lie flat at all. Let's see if it lies flat if I open it up. Nope. It does not lie flat. So that's kind of annoying. It, so you can see right here that the paper is laying flat. You can see more of the coil. And as you go up, it won't... Can you see that? It won't lay down all the way. So that's kind of a bummer, but not a huge deal. And then look, when you fold it back over, it doesn't go very smoothly. Oh, and my cover just popped off. So <laughs> that does not work out very well. So I do not like this new coil. The... um. This part here is just not so, and I can't even, like I've really got to roll it to get it to lie flat. And now I've got to get my cover back on. Which these covers are really easy to put back on, so it's not a huge deal. But if my planner does that every time I'm using it and my cover pops off every time I'm using my planner, that's going to be kind of annoying. I don't know if that's just a glitch with this planner or if that's how all the planners are. Um, but we'll take a look at it when I get my vertical planner and see if it's the same. Um, but for now, we're just going to move on. So we're going to... See, and you can't roll it because... This back piece here is so close to it that you can't even, like, give it some extra room. So, okay, whatever. We'll just have to unclasp it at the end there. Okay, so first thing is that you have this new vellum piece right here. Um, and this used to only come in the, uh, what am I thinking of? The, like, uh, gold foil, not gold foil. This used to only come in the silver foil planners. You got a little overlay that had some like gold or silver um, dots on it. But now you get this in every single one. So we just fold that over. And again, you can see the page will not go down. I really have to see I can roll it like that, but it just springs right back. So I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. That's super annoying. And so you'll notice that if you have an old Erin Condren planner, then you'll notice that the This Is My Life section is over here. It used to be on this side here, and I can show you that in the old planner. So here's an old planner, and you can see it has the This Is My Life right here on the back of your planner. So now that has been moved over here onto the um, front cover page. And then you have your kind of opening page as you did with the old planner. And after I show you guys through this horizontal planner, I'm going to show you compared to the old one as well. That way you can really see the differences. So the next page we turn to is the July 2015 to December 2016 year at a glance calendar. I am not sure if this will only show... 2016 if you order the 12 month planner I got the 18 month that starts in July but I'm not sure 
how the uh, yearly calendar works for the 12 months. So if you guys get a 12 month or if somebody gets a 12 month um, and you see it, write it in the comments below so everybody knows because I'm not sure about that. So you have this that you can use. You can either use it for forward planning or you can use it to um, track certain things. You can track when you're going to the gym. You can track your special time of the month. Or there's all kinds of things that you can use these pages for to track. And then this is a new section in the 2015-2016 planner. And this is kind of a way to um, keep track of something important. Now there are 12 boxes, there are six on each side. So you could use these boxes um, for months, you know, January, February, March, April, May, June, um, and forward plan. Or you could use it as months and track special events or dates that you have coming up. Or you can use this to track different sections of your life or different areas of your life that you have goals in. Now 12 is kind of a stretch for me. I don't know if I could come up with 12 goals, but maybe you could do like the rest of 2015 goals on this side and then 2016 goals on this side and kind of compare the two. So you could have like a health goal, um, you could have like a goal for the gym or you could have a goal for reading books or anything like that and then do the same on the other side for another year and then you can kind of see how far you've come in those two years. So then we turn to the next page and this is another new thing as well with the um, new planner. You now have a notes page before each month in the planner. So you're going to start off with the notes page and then the um, cover page for your month. And in the horizontal planner, it's this really cool like wispy pattern and I love this. Now I've got to be honest and say that like a lot of the other girls in the planner community, I wanted a mismatch of the two because I love the vertical layout, especially because of the changes that they've made, but I much prefer the font and design in the horizontal layout. So I'm going to try both and see which one really works for me. And I may end up using both and just use like one for journaling or something and then use the other as my actual planner. So each of your months will come with this cover page here and a quote, and then you turn to your monthly page. Now, this is a little bit simpler than it was before. There is no quote listed up here at the side, and as you can see, there's no decoration on this page. It's strictly your month at a glance. It has your moons in it, and it has a um, section over here that says goals. But there's no decoration, there's no dots, nothing like that. And I'll show you a comparison, uh, like I said, with the um, old planner so you can see the difference in the design. And then after your month at a glance, you turn over to your week. And so this is the horizontal layout. And I have to tell you, ladies, that this looks much smaller in person. And I don't know if it's because it's the horizontal layout, but I really, when I got my planner, I felt like the pages were smaller this way. And I was like, wow, this planner is a lot smaller than before, which would be totally fine because it's, you know, it's big. Um, but I, I'm thinking it's because of the horizontal layout because the vertical kind of stretches the page, but this horizontal layout doesn't do that. So the pages do seem a lot smaller. Again, it's very plain. There's not a lot of decoration, which is nice because it leaves space for you to do your own decorating and to put your own um, kind of spin on the planner. So you have... Um, the month at the top, so this starts the 29th of June, and then of course the other month is on the other side. So when we turn the page, you see it says July and July. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on one side, and then you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and a notes section on the other side. Um, and then down here in the corner, you have a little box that says thankful thought, which I thought this was a really neat idea to put something in this box that you're kind of thankful for for the week, or maybe put some special quote or, or something that's, you know, lifts your spirits or something in this corner for the um, week. And then, so all these are lined. Now let me zoom in for you guys. So as you can see, these boxes are lined, which is fantastic because if anybody is like me, 
your handwriting does not always follow the natural line that is not there. So these boxes here are lined and then there's a little section at the end of each day that is just a blank box. So that is really nice to be able to put a highlighted something in there or maybe use this area as one of the um, like with the personalized stickers that you can get from Etsy that have you know like your habits for the day or something like that. I really like the, the the way this layout looks in person. I did get a sample of it if you guys saw in my last plan with me video and I did do a uh, little bit of work with it and I wasn't too fond of it but now that I'm seeing it in person I really really like it take you guys through um, and I'm going to kind of speed it up in the video a little bit and show you the um, cover page for each one. so I just have to point this out this is really really annoying when you get back here I mean this page will not lie flat at all like I said I can spin it and it goes down and then it just pops right back up and I just don't it's I don't know why it's doing that it's really annoying and I don't want to be too picky like I said I don't know if it's just a problem with this planner um, but it doesn't happen with my old planner so I don't know we'll see Okay, anyway, so now we are at the notes section. So once you finish up for the year, we come to the notes tab. And so you get a couple of pages of lined notebook paper, notebook paper, of lined paper. So there's two, four, six. So there's six pages of lined paper. And then another new addition this year is some graph paper. Now, I, I don't like that they took up so much space here at the top with this design. Um, maybe they should have stayed with maybe a few lines, but they took up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces of your graph paper with this design. So maybe, it, I think it would have been better if it was smaller so you had more of your graph paper space to write with. So you get two, four, four pages of graph paper and then you come to your traditional blank paper which again has a huge design at the top it really takes up a lot of the space but you know it's not too big of a deal and you get two four uh, five pieces of blank paper and then over here you have your 2017 year at a glance calendar which again you can use this for forward planning, highlight or mark through special times, vacations, birthdays, etc. Or you can just use it as a reference, which is usually what I do. And then you have your um, little like final page here and it talks about how to be social with it. You know, tag Erin Condren, uh, use a hashtag, etc. when you're sharing your pictures. And then the stickers, as you can see for the horizontal planner are like a more muted color and i'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you guys you have your whole page here of birthday stickers which are in a much lighter color than the um existing erin condren planner and this is a new addition you get your little vote sticker this is an election year so you can stay take that sticker and stick it on there for when you vote and then you get another page and this is the same kind of thing as before there's some game stickers day off hair appointment, dentist appointment, sale, doctor's appointment, concert, uh, mani-pedi, party, and then vacation stickers. You do get two um, pages of blank stickers, and I have seen online that the new Erin Condren markers write well on these stickers, so I did order some markers. When I get them, I will um, test them out and let you guys know. So you get your two pages of stickers. So now we come to our little pocket folder and this is different than the previous years. It is a much sturdier pocket. It is not laminated, it's just a sturdier material. 
um, and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but it's just a whole lot sturdier than it was before. Um, my pocket, I did not even use that often, and it was frayed here at the bottom in the old planner, and I'll show you guys that in a second. So this is really nice. You do get your perpetual planner, um, perpetual planner, perpetual calendar to keep with your notebook, and I'll show you guys the old one. So here's the old one versus the new one. And then after the last few months, you have some places to put important contacts or important passwords. I actually made a page in my old planner that had passwords on it. So this is kind of a neat idea. And I don't think this was in the old one. Let me have a look. Nope. In the old one, you had my important numbers and my contacts. So on this one, you have important contacts and then important passwords so that's pretty cool and then we have our um little what is this called zipper pocket <laughs> totally blanked okay so now you can see that we're at the back of the planner this side is laying flat and this side is popped up it looks like the coil was just shortened too much and i don't know if there's a way that i can fix that if you guys know please leave a comment down below i'm wondering if i can like loosen this and add a little bit more coil so I'm able to turn it so it will lie flat. Um, but let me know in the comments below if you guys know how I can do that. Anyways, so we have this pouch and it is different than last year. Last year there was like a red stripe on the pouch and this is the Party Pops design. And it looks like you got a lot, you get a lot of different goodies in here this year. You get this card that talks about the free gifts. So you get compliment cards, referral cards, a coil clip, and some do-it-all dots. And it kind of um, talks on the back side about how to use each thing. So this is one of their coil clips, which are really awesome because you can take this piece off and just snap it right into your planner. Um, I am actually going to use these this year. I didn't use any last year because I didn't clip anything into my planner. So the next thing that you got is a sample sheet of the do-it-all dots, which I actually have some of these from a previous purchase and I really like them. So it looks like in your sampler you get, and let me show you guys up close. I got to see where the camera is. The camera is up very high so you guys can see. So it looks like you get some pencils. Uh, a, a spray bottle of cleaner, some weights, this looks like an exclamation point, this is a medical bag, some nail polish, arrows, recycling, this looks like a watch, um, dollar sign, pills, hair dryer, these are hearts, uh, washing machine, this looks like a ruler, like a measuring tape, um, an envelope, a tooth, and some makeup brushes. And then you get some of your uh, invite a friend referral cards so you can write your little code in there and then um, invite your friends to get $10 off their purchase. Which again, like I said, my referral code is going to be listed in the description box below for you guys. And then you get three um, compliment cards, which these are super cute. And I guess you can just write on the back and hand them out to somebody. So that is the end of the planner. And then you just have your back cover, which again, um, because of the coil, the end of it comes undone when you've got it flipped over. Like I said, there's no quote here like there is up there. And it's just really muted. This There's no um, coloring for the lines here. It's just a plain like grayish black line. The little dot that's up here is not down here. So that's the differences in the monthly. We'll turn to the weekly. This is really not a good comparison of the weekly because this is vertical and this is horizontal, but you can see the differences. You can see how much planar this is compared to this. Um, there's no mini calendar anymore. There's just a note section. It doesn't say weekly goals and notes. So that's the difference between that. And here's the difference in the notes pages. These older ones are actually um, less colorful than the new ones. They only come with the little um, signature Erin Condren design in the bottom corner. I washi taped this one. Um, and these ones have the design at the top. 
and then here's a sample of the two uh, blank pages together basically the same thing and I guess she did have a, a large space at the top here I didn't realize that it seems like a lot more um, on this graph paper and so now you just have one year at the back of the planner as opposed to 2016 and 2017 again like I've said before I much prefer the font and color scheme of this one as compared to the older one the keep it together folders you can see the difference let me zoom you in and show you so i've zoomed you in and you can see at the bottom here of my keep it together folder how it's kind of come apart even right here in the corners it's coming apart and i don't even really use it that much and then there's a little comparison of the two um pockets in the back again as i stated the red here is no longer there and there's a little party pops design on the front where it's not on there so all in all, I think this is a great planner. I am going to be a customer for a very long time. I enjoy her products. Um, there are a few glitches here and there that if I wanted a perfect world, you know, I would have her make them perfect. But, you know, it's just, it's not a big deal to me. The scratch on the front, eh, whatever. I don't really sit and stare at the front of my planner. So it's not a huge deal. The coil, um, it is annoying, but I can deal with it. Um, if I get my other planner and that one lays properly, then I may question them and say, hey, you know, is it supposed to be like this or what can I do to fix it? Do I want them to send me an entire new planner? Not really. Um, I don't think it's a big enough hassle for them to have to send me an entire new uh, $50 planner um, because of the coil. But if they do have a suggestion on how to fix it, that would be great as well. And like I said, if you guys have a suggestion on how to fix it, I would, I would be willing to try it out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I gave you enough information. If you have any questions about any of the Erin Condren products, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. So again, I think that's everything for today. Leave any questions or comments down below and I will answer anything that I can or find answers for you if I don't know the answers. And please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me. And subscribe if you're new. Welcome. Uh, so you don't miss my review of the new vertical and then a comparison of the two together. And I will also be doing plan with me's. I'm going to try to do them every week. Um, and as long as we don't have any craziness going on here, then I should be able to do that. So again, make sure to get, give this video a thumbs up. Share the video if you can. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.